Hi everyone, thanks for watching another video about this CompTIA Security Plus certification. Today we're going to look at some exam questions. We will go over them together and hopefully we can learn from it. Uh, this way you have a good idea what you can expect on the exam. Thanks for watching, see you soon. Hi everyone, welcome to the 10th video of this series about the CompTIA Security Plus certification exam. Let's go to test number 10. Which of the following authentication protocols transmit passwords over a network in an unencrypted form and is therefore considered insecure? PAP. Not radius, but PAP. FTP, HTTP, IMAP4, LDAP, etc. are all examples of network protocols that send data in clear text. Yes. HTTP, otherwise it would say HTTPS or SFTP, this is all unencrypted, so clear text, true. A security solution designed to detect anomalies, anomalies in the log and event data collected by multiple network devices is known as HIDS, it's this one, a security information and event manager or management. Uh, let's see, which of the following security measures would be of help in troubleshooting user permissions? Um, that's the, let's see, the principle of least privilege and the permissions auditing and review. So out of the box you get the least privilege and when the users say I can't do my job then we will review it and also permissions auditing every year and reviewing if the permissions that are granted are still needed in order for you to do your job. Continue. Let's see. The term segmentation full fault refers to access violation and memory management. Continue. Which of the tools listed below can be used for troubleshooting problems related to additional certificates? Um, this one and this one. Continue. A software or hardware based security solution designed to detect and prevent unauthorized use and transmission of confidential information outside of the corporate network is known as, uh, it's known as a DLP. Data loss prevention. The importance of changing default usernames and passwords can be illustrated on the example of certain network devices, let's say routers, which are often shipped with default and well known admin credentials that can be looked up on the web. That's correct. Never use a default username and password because, you know, it's, it's basically no security. Continue. Which of the following answers exam are examples of weak security configurations? Select all that apply. That's DAS, uh, SHA-1, uh, WEP, and WPS. WPA-2 and SHA-512 are, um, they are strong security. Uh, DAS, SHA-1, WEP, and WPS is weak security. A set of rules enforced in a network that restricts the use to which the network may be put is known as uh, this one. Which of the security measures listed below would be ineffective against malicious insider threat? Uh, data loss system, uh, the principle of least privilege, Time day restrictions, strong authentication, and the continuous auditing and reviewing of um, privileges. Uh, authentic, no, not authentication um, rights, so privileges inside applications or on the network. Continue. The best countermeasure against social engineering is user awareness training because social engineering has nothing to do with systems but with people users in this case. What are the drawbacks of running an unauthorized software in a co corporate environment? 
potential malware propagation, inadequate support from the in-house IT department. All of them, actually, all of them. Usage, auditing and application whitelisting <clears throat> are countermeasures against unauthorized software, yes. One of the best practices for malware removal involves the process of isolation of files and applications suspected of containing malware to prevent further execution and potential harm to the user system. Um, that's a quarantine. You place certain files or processes inside a quarantine um, so it can't affect the rest of the system. The F the SFC utility in MS Windows is um, it checks for the file integrity. Yes, file integrity. Yeah, continue. Hash functions allow for mapping large amounts of data content to a small string of characters. That's correct. Hashing of files. And with, with uh, hashing, you uh, maintain the uh, integrity of the, of the um, file in transit, basically. When it goes from point A to B, uh, the hash um, value should match. And you can do a hash check uh, um, and see if you know, data has been added or removed. Uh, and then the, it will generate a different hash. If the hash is intact, then you have uh, file integrity. Continue. Which of the following acronyms refers to network security solution combining the functionality of a firewall with additional safeguards such as URL filtering, content inspection, or malware inspection? Um, a UTM. OS security features designed to ensure safe memory usage by applications is known as um, a DEP, Data Execution Prevention. Which of the acronyms listed below refers to a firewall controlling access to a web server? Um, that's a, um, yeah, a web application firewall. Which of the following mobile connectivity methods provide the best coverage? Cellular, Wi-Fi, satellite, and infrared satellite. Definitely. The process of establishing a connection between Bluetooth devices, Bluetooth head is linking to pairing. Which of the answers listed below refers to a technology that enables carrying out mobile payment transactions with the use of a physical phone device? Near field communication. A wireless connectivity technology primarily used in low powered sports and fitness mobile devices is known as ANT. And the last question, which of the answers listed below refers to a security countermeasure that allows to erase data on a lost or stolen mobile device. Not locking, but remote wiping. Sometimes that happens when your mobile phone is part of uh, uh, mobile, de mobile device management and when you uh, enter the PIN code th for three times or your device is, is lost and you go to the uh, system administrator, he can do a re remote wipe. So the people that stole your phone uh, can't do nothing with the contents uh, that are on that phone and the phone will be completely wiped remotely. Finish. Pep through, let's go over the questions. Looking good, looking good. Okay, now, all of this was uh, correct, that's nice. Well, this was uh, the 10th video. We hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.